Hello, I would get, like to give you a quick demonstration of a new uh, Go debugging tool called Go Debug. This tool is a web-based um, Go and C and C++ debugging tool written in Go uh, using GDB as the back end. So here I have a simple Hello World application in Go, written in Go. Um, I can go to the command prompt and I can run Go Debug and I can just provide the package name of the uh, Go module, or alternatively I can give the uh, fully qualified path to the C binary or C++ binary. When I run Go Debug locally, um, by default it uh, attempts to open up the, uh, the default web browser at the correct web page, at the correct port. As you can see here, it is pausing on the main routine at the beginning of the Go runtime. I'm going to set some breakpoints, so I click on the breakpoints tab. I type in the line number that I want. Alternatively, I can provide the function name if I prefer, but I'm just going to provide a line number. Hit enter. There it is. There we go. It's added. Then I can continue, and it hits my breakpoint. From my breakpoint, I can do the typical next and step routines. Step even goes into the um, the Go runtime code. So I can step deep into the uh, the code there as well. Um, I can hit continue and it hits my breakpoint again. Um, I can disable my breakpoint, hit continue, let it proceed to loop a few times, and I can enable the breakpoint and it hits it again. From there, I should be able to uh, next. Uh, or maybe not. I can interrupt it as well, and I can get back to where I was, um, continue, and hopefully it hits my breakpoint again. It does. Um, when I hit a breakpoint, um, I can inspect each of the different threads that are running. As you can see here, I can I can see some of the uh, the, the Go runtime uh, threads, as well as I can see my uh, my program thread here as well. I can step up the uh, the stack and look at the different uh, line numbers involved. And I can go back to here. Um, as well, I can I can look at the variables and write my own expressions. So just for fun here, I'm going to take a look at this um, hello object. In a deeper way, I can see that it is a struct. Um, I can see that there's a message pointer here. Um, to get more information about that value, I can uh, just click and expand it. I can see that message is a string saying hello world. It has a length as well. So the variables are there. Um, when I'm done my debugging session, I can uh, hit the exit button, and it shuts down the debugger and grays out my screen. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much.